Welcome to Cooking with Miss So. Today we're going to be talking about berries again and um, what you can do with them. I've, um, I wanted to, on this show, I want to dedicate it to my sister, Nancy Kirk Reed. Um, she died of pancreatic cancer this past year and she has left a, her first grandbaby and her two daughters and Emily and Melanie and um, I want y'all to know everything about food that helps us not get um, cancer. Hers was caused by x-rays that she had when she was born. She had, was, had a uh, dislocated hip at birth and they didn't know to regulate the radiation at that point so they gave kids just the full force and um, she lived longer than anybody has lived like that and uh, we miss her dearly but I know she's in heaven and so today it's a dedication to her. I, I, want, I don't want anybody else to have cancer. I don't want to have it. I don't want anybody in my family to have it. I think it might be one of the last day plagues that they talk about in the Bible. Um, and so if you have somebody in the, um, that has cancer or has had had cancer, tell them about this show. I want to tell you that the reason why we're doing this, and we've got the strawberries and they're wonderful too, all of the berries are wonderful, but the blueberries have the antioxidant that helps people um, not get cancer, so you should feed this to your children. And they're, one thing about them, when you freeze them, whether they're fresh or frozen, this berry does not lose its nutrition. And its anti antioxidant um, is higher than most of anything that I've seen so far. So I want to tell you, Cascadia Farms, and they do this at Ingalls, has the strawberries and the blueberries. And it also has other stuff too, and you can still have it in the winter. Now I used to just get my blueberries and then freeze them up because we have a big farm around here. Um, and um, that's what I did, and I'd have bags of that. And I put it in my waffles, I put it in my pancakes, I put it in my muffins, and um, and so right now, and I hope this stays this way, nobody in our family, um, in my family, had any kind of cancer. Um, both of my sisters have had cancer. So um, I just want to tell you, too, there is a guy here that works at the station, Reynolds, and um, he was telling me about this, what he's just been doing, the 10-day green smoothie cleanse. And um, he's shown it to me, so I'm going to get it and look at it. And he has lost 15 pounds on this. And he feels better, and he was telling me about it since I was doing these smoothies here today. The other thing, too, is I really like the Clean Eating magazine, and this one is the one now, and of course, probably, you know, in a month if they rerun this, it won't be out there, but I get it at Walmart or Ingalls, and um, it's real good, and it was talking about the blueberries today, too, in this magazine, and all the berries, so um, you might want to look that up with your kids and start looking at things and then um, doing recipes like I do like this. Um, we are doing the bullet. This will be my second show with the bullet. Um, Kayla is, um, helps with the show. She's a friend of my daughter's and she played at my house when she was little and she's still in the neighborhood and she's married and got a, um, a wonderful son, Jackson, who I just adore. And then he's so good with my, he's in first grade. Sec kindergarten? That's it, I messed up, kindergarten, but he's tall. And um, I just love him since he was little. And so she makes these smoothies for him all the time. And she got me onto this because I used to have to do it with my blender with the Bosch, and that's a lot of cleaning. And this is not a lot of cleaning. And it's at Walmart. This is the one that's $39.99. And I was afraid maybe it wouldn't have good power and all because my Bosch does, has wonderful power, chops ice and everything. And this does all that too. And the other thing I have learned from her, you don't always have to have ice in the smoothies. And so um, I like that too. Now we're going to do this and the, we're going to do the frozen strawberries and the frozen blueberries and we're doing the yogurt. Now Stonyfield has, um, is the first organic yogurt I've ever used because when my daughter was so sick and all. You want to use good yogurt and you can make it too. And I would use this as my base. 
Um, and you might want to do the whole one for kids because they're saying now that we don't need to have the low fat for kids. We need the whole because they need all the protein. In it that, and this has protein too. So we're going to do a strawberry, banana, blueberry smoothie first. And now I get organic bananas at Ingalls. And um, they have the regular and they have the organic. And for that product, I can't tell you to have it from the United States because I don't even know if we grow bananas in the United States. Maybe we do down somewhere, Florida or something, but at least get the organic in that. We're only gonna do half of a banana. And I cut by like this. And then I slice it right there. Take that off in case you want whole slices. And we're just gonna put chunks of stuff here. I'm not gonna be real careful with it. And um, we're just gonna put it right here in here. And this is the little cup. This is also, if you start with this, your kids won't crave sugar and stuff. This is way better for them. And yet, it's so nutritional. And if they're making it and making up their own things, that's, as a third grade teacher, I let my kids do stuff like that. I think we're gonna take all that. And um, so let them make up different things. Put the stuff out there, let them decide what they want together. We're gonna do the frozen strawberries too. The blueberries thaw out really fast. The, straw, the strawberries don't do as fast. And you can do it with the fresh too. Let me turn around and do my hands here because the blueberry got all over me. And now we're gonna put the yogurt in. You just guess at it, because I have gone over the little level here with this, so it might take a little le I'm making a mess here, but it's okay. And Walmart and Ingalls carry Stonyfield. I don't know where else they do have it. So if you don't have an Ingalls in your town, and then you can also freeze up your yogurt. If you want to buy, if you have to drive pretty far, then um, let me get a paper towel for this. If you have to drive far to an Ingalls, because I know Ingalls isn't in every town, um, you can get more of it, and then you can put this in the freezer and then just set it down when you're ready to use it, and it's fine. Okay, here we go. Hope I didn't put too much in there. You just turn it over, do it like this. And then you turn it upside down. And then it has two some little holes here. So I'm gonna go there. And then she told me to pulse it. And when you do it like that, see how it's starting to come down? I didn't know that. And she taught me all about this. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And with doing it ice, it's cold like this, and so it, That'll taste good too. Let me see. It's thick too. And I think it stays thicker if the stuff is frozen when you do it. Now, for kids, I think you could do this for two kids. Let me try and see. Oh my goodness, that's really good, y'all. And it's a pretty color, too. And we're gonna go to a break, y'all, so I can finish drinking this. Thank you. Feel something in the air, a new song. Welcome back. Now we're going to do a blueberry orange one. And um, I am cutting, you see how much here I've got? And 
I'm going to cut these. I'm having fun with these smoothies. I used to do simple smoothies, but not like this because it was for my kids. But um, it was hard because I had to clean it out. It was so hard to clean. And she was right. Kayla told me that, um, here, I just cut the tag. This is one of the organic ones there. And from USA and from Ingalls. I have a Pampered Chef knife here, and I really like it. Pampered Chef knives, I think, are the best. And if you've got a Pampered Chef person, um, ask, ask your family to give you a knife every holiday. And um, I just have um, two, the bread knife and that one, this one right here, and that's all I need. I don't like lots of utensils. Um, so I try to get the ones that I can use for everything. Now, we can just cut this off. And I'm going to put that in there. And the blueberries are the Cascadia Farms that are frozen. And it makes them... Um, for the winter, then I think it's a little bit less expensive than the um, having the fresh that I have down there. And they say with blueberries that the nutrition does not fade um, after they've been picked, where some fruits are and some vegetables. A little bit of the core there. And the wonderful thing is, it doesn't take much. So those of you that have a lot of kids, um, this is not an expensive thing, and it's very healthy. And um, you can do it when kids' friends come over. Just make sure you find out what they might be allergic to. Like we have somebody here at the station that's allergic to um, app, um, bananas. So we have to... Be very careful about that. And sometimes allergies are actually caused um, from the chemicals. They're not really a, um, allergic to the, the item. It's because of the chemicals and bananas and stuff um, are sprayed. And that's why I get the, the organic. Now, we're going to put this right here. They're cold. And all. Please include blueberries. If your kids don't like them just plain and stuff, do something like this because it has the best antioxidants that I've read or found out of any fruit. And we want our kids to be healthy and live a long life. Here we go, we're gonna do the yogurt now. Now there's a place here so I don't want to really go over that little place there because it makes it a little bit harder. Let's see. Here we go. Now we're just about up to the line. Now I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to put this in. And we're going to turn this over. And, and it. Now we want to pulse it so the fruit will go down. Maybe, there it goes. Isn't that wonderful? Now the oranges might be a little bit harder, so make sure that you get all of that. I 
think it, it's done good. That's a pretty color. And with kids, use straws. You can use straws with it. Now I'm gonna pour this in and see if all the orange is done. How it is. And then right now I'm gonna show you how easy to clean it. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the sink here to show you. Since it's the last one I'm doing right now, we're gonna do this. If you This is amazing. <laughs> it's so much easier than the um, blenders. And it's not expensive and it has wonderful power. Now, another thing that you can do is take this. If you wanna save some of it, you've made it and you wanna take it to work or you might wanna um, do a picnic and you can put it in your cooler. Oh, I've got a little bit in there of oranges that were not chopped here. Here we go. There, get it on there, right? And you can take that with you, okay? We're going to go to a break. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, they have just told me that this is my 100th TV show. And so they wanted me to tell a story about it. And um, so those of you that don't know, I, um, I was a third grade teacher and um, we at Central Elementary and I went to Clemson University um, for education. But my first college was North Greenville College and um, they were only a two year and I lived here in Greenville and um, I went there and now I have three camera people here in here that are North Greenville students who've graduated and are learning how to do all this. And then I had to homeschool my daughter. My son was fine, but my daughter was allergic to the, um, anaphylactic to the chemicals in the schools. And here my husband taught at Easley High School and I taught at Central. So we started homeschooling and I absolutely loved it. And I have a homeschooler here too. So um, I really love that. And if anybody's afraid about homeschooling, don't be. If you wanna homeschool your kid, I think everybody should homeschool their kids at least one year. It, it makes a relationship that is just absolutely wonderful. So when Miss Thompson how, did a show here with Tammy Faye Baker, Tammy Faye Baker got sick and um, they asked me to come on because they had heard about the way I, I was doing cooking classes at, on Friday nights when my husband and son were going to the ball games and my daughter was babysitting because people wanted to know how I made the bread. So I would do that on Friday nights and um, I had a recipe for homemade pimento cheese that I changed everything so it would be yogurt, no mayonnaise. Because um, at that point there was no organic mayonnaise so we couldn't use it. And for a southerner without mayonnaise and pimento cheese seemed really weird. So they asked me to come on Nightline and um, it was Gwen who's on Friday nights now and um, uh, another lady who um, um, I don't, I think she has passed away. And they told me that they wanted me to tell people on Nightline what is bad in the grocery store. And so when I got there, and that for me to do some, so I did my brownies, I, did, I had my bread made, and then I was gonna make pimento cheese there. Well, when I do the pimento cheese, I do yogurt. And um, I had, and I was gonna do parfait. So I did a parfait with vanilla yogurt, this one right here, and then um, the low fat one. And then I do the plain one with the pimento cheese. Well, instead of the mayonnaise. Well, 
<clears throat> they got all the stuff, and when I got there for the pimento cheese, they didn't have the one that was just plain. And um, I said, what am I gonna do? And they said, well, just turn the vanilla around and they won't know that it's not and just say it's that. So that's what we did. And it turned out as an accident, it made my pimento cheese 10 times better. I've never put the um, other one in there anymore. I put the vanilla in it. And, um, and it is one of my signature dishes now because of that mistake, God used that. And then we had just done my recipes and my cookbook and they told me that it was the best seller they had ever had. And they, we, we printed out, I think, 300, and I think we only had maybe 25 or 40 left, and it all went that night. So it was a wonderful experience for me, but I thought, I was praying there, and I said, Lord, they're asking me stuff. They had cereal boxes and all, and they said, what's wrong with this? And, and I told them, and um, I'm thinking, Lord, I'm going to prison here because um, I don't think you can do this. And I told them, I don't think you can do that. And they said, no, we can do it. We can do it. So I was just praying, please, Lord, don't take me to jail for this. But I didn't know what else to do, and I just, I did it. And then um, Tammy Faye Baker died in um, June, I believe it was, that year. And then my husband died on September 11th that year. And um, then it was two years later when Mr. and Ms. Thompson died. And I had known Mr. and Ms. Thompson because my dad had been a pastor in Greenville. And um, they were real precious to me. And um, my dad actually walked down on our family. And uh, we never saw him again. And he walked down on Christmas morning. So um, Ms. Thompson never mentioned it about my dad. She didn't bring it up, but she was so sweet to me. And she said something to me on the first time when I was there that I knew she knew who I was and that it didn't matter to her because I always felt like um, my dad's mess up um, made it hard for me. And so um, Christ has been so wonderful. And he let me come back to the show that when my dad had walked out, my mom was sewing. And when I would get off my um, job after school, I would watch them and they were just new. And I never thought that it would be me that would come in and fill in for Miss Thompson. And um, the last time I did um, a show on her show, she asked me if I would come here and be a cook for all of the station. And I went home and asked my husband and he said, Mary, he was an economics teacher, I want you here cooking for us and all that gas. And um, I always felt guilty that I didn't do that for her. And, um, but anyway, Tom died not long after that too. And this station uh, called, Dante and them called me up and said, um, would you come and take over our mom's show? And I said, do you want me to um, shut it down? And they said, we hope you can make it. And that was the name of her show. And they helped me have um, a name. They, it's the guys here that did the said do cooking with Miss So. And I, I love each and every one of them. And they have helped me so much in the death of my husband. And then also Tom and I had prayed that Christmas before that people will know our children were diagnosed with cystic fibrosis and now they're both grown and both of them were supposed to die and um, they didn't. So we prayed that God would open a door so people would know that the wheat berry heals cystic fibrosis and God did that with this show. So I wanna thank everybody who works here because I love them like a family and I'm gonna cry. But I can't believe I've done a hundred of them. I was only supposed to do three. I thought three Saturdays, it would all be shut down. So if it's time for it to go, they've got their hands up y'all. So thank you so much. Have a blessed day. and. Um, hope I hear from y'all on the thanks. Bye. <laughs> In the air, a new song.